Hi guys, this is Amr from Certified Power. Today I'll be showing you how to connect a Mako 2 control system to a PC. For this procedure, we will need a computer operating Windows 10 with the USB capabilities, a serial to USB cable, and the USB flash drive from Certified Power containing the Mako 2 software. If you do not have this USB flash drive, contact our technical support team at 763-493-9380 and they will tell you what you need to do. And if your computer is not operating Windows 10, you will need to install the necessary cable drivers. Click the link in the description for a video on how to do just that. Connect your Mako 2 Blue Box to the PC. First, connect the serial port section of the cable to the Mako 2 PC port. Then, connect the USB port section of the cable to your computer. Keep the power switched off on your Mako 2 for now. Insert the USB flash drive into your computer. It should pop up on your file explorer. You can find the Mako 2 software in the USB flash drive provided by Certified Power. Once again, if you do not have this flash drive, contact our technical support team and they will tell you what you need to do. You may find the software in a folder labeled Unigrip and Multi-Sticks Mako 2 Manuals and Software. Once you access that folder, copy the Mako 2 utility software to your PC. I will do that by dragging it onto my desktop. Double click to run the Mako 2 version 2.46. Click on OK. Now if your serial to USB cable is connected to the PC and you see a red bar, try changing the COM port. To do that, first click on the tab that says Data Link. Then select Port Number. Select a different COM port from the drop-down menu. Then click OK. Repeat this process until the bar turns blue. If the bar is still red after you've tried all COM ports, then there may be an issue with the driver's installation. Try checking that the serial to USB cable is attached correctly, then restart the software. If that does not work, try using different USB ports on the computer, then restarting the software. If all fails, try reinstalling the drivers from the link in the description, then restart the computer and try again. You will see a blue bar that says waiting for link. Power on your Mako 2 and you should see a retrieving calibration message and an active progress bar. A notification message will pop up saying download successful. Click OK. If the bar remains blue after you've powered on your Mako 2, that means you should select a different COM port and try again. You have now successfully connected a Mako 2 Blue Box to a PC. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call on the number provided on the screen, or visit our website at www.certifiedpowersolutions.com.